G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a Ritek AMR. This is a weapon that has been ported from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 19, supplemented by additional optics that have been ported from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 22. This thing has custom sounds and reload animations, and an option to craft on a workbench of the chemistry variety, just like any good COD mod worth its salt, and a lot of customization options. Now, this thing is based on a real-life firearm called the Barrett XM109, not the Barrett M82, although it does look quite similar, but no, this is the Barrett M82's larger sister. She's a big girl, and what's special about this particular rifle is that although we've got the 50 caliber rounds in this thing right now, the AMR is only telling half the story. You can turn this thing into a long-range grenade launcher. You can chamber this thing in these 25mm rounds. Now, obviously, that'll cut your... Um, ammo capacity down by half and you'd be firing a slower projectile so range combat is less um, uh, consistent it'll be harder to hit targets leading them over distances but you can equip these and you'll get yourself a whole lot of extra damage so yeah that's the special thing about the Barrett XM 109 is it's basically a sniper grenade launcher which is awesome you can't go wrong with that and since we're already in the attachments let's keep going we've got the uh, legendary effect here Instigating of this thing would be hilarious, but no, we'll leave that. Thank you very much though, legendary modification. We ignore you every single time. Next, we've got the stocks. Now, these things have just the standard Call of Duty fluff here. Who knows what they actually do. This one is actually ultra light and it decide it, it uh, increases movement while aiming down sights. I'll see that when I believe it, but this thing is a pretty heavy weapon by default, so I guess there's no reason why you wouldn't want to make this thing slightly lighter, and that's a pretty good weight reduction right there, just over 10 pounds now, which is particularly manageable considering your um, fully modded combat rifles and assault rifles can be pushing 25 to 30 pounds. And you can throw a laser mount on here, that unlocks an additional attachment point which you can throw a laser on. You can have these in different flavors, blue, green, red, whatever you want, and apparently there's also options for flashlights here, which is odd on a sniper, but we'll go for a 7 milliwatt beam, maybe? We'll find a blue one. We'll go that one. Sure, why not? It'll increase your hipfire accuracy, pre-stock standard options or effects for your um, laser sights. Next, you've got Slate of Hand. It makes the reloads faster because you're training, you're reloading, you do it under pressure easier. Now, here's what I find fun about COD modders because I had someone in the on the comments the other day talk about how much all of the modders hate the uh, fast hands perk, the quick hands perk, because it speeds up the reloads. And when you're using a custom modded weapon, maybe they've balanced their reloads to be um, normal or just work without that particular perk, right? So every now and then I get these people mentioning, hey, why are you using this fast hand perk? It completely ruins the animations. Where on the flip side, you've got these COD modders saying, hmm, let's let's speed up that reload speed even more. Here's a slate of hand perk for free. Obviously for gun nut rank 2, but everyone's going to have that at this late stage of Fallout 4. So a little bit of a funny observation and a terrible, terrible... Um, uh, I, I, what's the thing when you go off track for a little bit? I forget the word, but you can throw a bipod on there. It doesn't do anything, but it looks cool, so we'll do that. It'll also clip into you. If you've got classic holstered weapons, that'll go right through your lumbar curve of your spine, so look out for that. That might cause problems down the road. Now, you've also got the option to have paints on this, and if you don't like any of these, there's a variant of this mod you can download which removes all of these paints, and it'll reduce your megabyte edge on your... Um, on your hard drive when you download this thing. So none of these I think are, uh, well that one's terrible, that one's too bright and garish. Default's fine. Hugging I don't mind, that's pretty cool. Main battery, I don't mind a little bit of red on it, that's kind of nice. Rivadi, that looks cool when you've got a longer barrel because it turns it into a gold color. Uh, the gold color barrel, that one's cringe. And Solo Eclipse, yeah, I'll pay that one, that's fine. I'm gonna leave that as default though. And now I've got scopes. Now you can change the scopes to be uh, reflex sights, which give you zero zoom in. And there's also versions that are lesser powered scopes. There's a 12 times scope right there. Probably a little bit too much for our purposes, knowing that we've got a slow projectile grenade instead. Maybe we'll go for something a little bit shorter. I think a six times optic will be a nice choice for this one. We will grab a 50 cal version. I believe those projectiles will hit scan and throw on the most longest range scope we can, a 13 times scope, but we'll go over that later. But as you can tell, 
like a, a billion optics. Pick your poison here. You could go through them for hours and find out exactly how good they are. Now you can change the grip tape on the on the pistol grip. This one's stripled grip tape. Less stable but very agile. All right, that's another cod fluff description there. I'm not sure that's actually going to do anything. Now, if we attach on this gigantic barrel here, you might notice um, as we're going through this that this thing is very small on this preview screen here. And that's for good reason, because a lot of these mods that have these giant rifles, they keep them a consistent size with everything else. And what happens when the rifle gets too long is you can't see all of it on the screen at once. So they've actually, um, smartly, they've made the weapon a little bit smaller here, so you can actually see the entire thing as you're modifying it, which I think is nice. And of course, the receivers. Advanced receiver, most damage, easily done. And I believe we can throw on some muzzles, so you can have a gigantic suppressor that gives us over a thousand damage, which is very nice. That's equivalent to a gauss rifle at this stage with the um, suppressor on it, which is pretty nice. There's also a different type of muzzle brake, big tank brake for recoil control, but we'll go for an AMR suppressor. There we go. Suppressed grenade launcher rifle. Now, I believe if I, yeah, okay, so there's a big golden suppressor, so I didn't pick the right barrel, but yeah, you can have a giant gold suppressor if you want. I think that's a little bit too much. We'll keep this one, we'll craft a couple more, and we'll see how we go. Here's Ritech AMR on the chemistry workbench. Just scroll down, you'll eventually find it. Four adhesive, two gears, three oils, five plastics, six screws, two springs, six steel, and you get a Ritech AMR um, with no options or no requirements for gun nut at all. So get this at level one, folks. Just get it. It'll be fine. You won't have any ammo, but it's good uh, for when you download or get the 50 cal mods. Now, if you look closely to the top of the screen as I'm crafting these, for some reason these decide to craft with the um, some of the paint on it. So they will just be called Chronic Showcase or whatever the paint's called. Sometimes you'll roll one which will have the standard name, but for some reason every single normal version of these that I've ever got has been calibrated. So there's one again. I'm not sure if that's just a naming bug, but we finally got the calibrated one. Hopefully... We'll grab a few more of those because um, I don't want all of these chronic AMRs in my inventory. Get out of here. Welcome back to the Gunner's Shooting Range. Here is my Ritec AMR. This one's got the explosive 25mm rounds, medium scope suppressor, and glorious blue laser sight. And I'd be surprised if we couldn't blow up a car with one shot with this thing. Now, um, I've got the tactical reload version installed, which means I don't have to pull the charging handle unnecessary, unless I'm in third person. Whoops, never mind, I ate my woes just then. Here's a tactical reload. This one has the 10 BMG 50 caliber rounds with uh, hit scan accuracy with a suppressor. This one here is my close range version with a giant muzzle brake on the front. This is using the thermite 25 mil rounds. Is that reciprocating? I don't think it is. The M82, I think, reciprocates, and that hasn't been uh, transferred over here. Maybe the XM109 doesn't. But lastly, I made this one. This one um, has a little bit of scope sway about it. Are we drunk right now? Did you have a shot before handling this thing? I'm not sure what's going on there. I shouldn't, shouldn't have that much sway, right? Well, this one's completely stable. It wasn't before. That was weird. Okay, well, regardless of what... Um, our inebriation state is. We'll get started, and what we'll do is we'll try to get as many kills as we can with our sniper version, our hit scan 50 cal, as that guy sort of moonwalks over to the side there. And if they want to sit nice and still for me, then that would be even better. Take a look at this. How many shots do I get in VATS? All of them? Hell yeah. So let's take advantage of that for a second. We'll have a quick run today. And Mantis can join in too. The more the merrier. Crit. Crit. Don't even bother critting the turret. Oh, don't forget the reload. There it is again in third person. Slightly blurred in a different angle. Mantis is down. And the same thing sort of goes when using this thing in bullet time vats. You get so many shots with this thing. Overpowered. You've overdone it. Just like Germany in their holiday in um, France in the 1930s. Please don't sue me, James. May I stole your joke? All right. 
I think that's enough for the suppressed version. I think you get the idea. Let's go for a little bit more loud now. And you might notice over a distance, not this distance, we're going to have hit scan. Oh, uh, not hit scan, non hit scan bullets. And um, it's not a real problem here, but you can get a little bit of good crowd control out of this. If enemies are around the same sort of area, you can easily get mul um, multiple hits in at a time with the explosive rounds. Obviously, the demo expert perk doing wonders there, but even if you are in close range, just thinking. It's got supremely good hipfire accuracy. Really good. We could probably do this without being hit, to be honest. Even if we are in full danger, if we jug our enemies nice and carefully, we can easily just clear everything out. And do we have anyone over here? Not sure. We've got a dedicated close range variant. Now, I'm wondering whether this reflex side is going to make it even better in VATS. That's an invisible man. No, it's about the same. How odd. This appears to just be using the legendary incendiary projectiles. Looks like the uh, the combat music has finally started, so the game's taking a little bit more seriously now. This is the perfect time for a Barrett M M82 approach. For those of you who are miffed about gunners receiving a headshot with a 50 cal and not immediately dying, uh, number one, don't worry about it, and two, you can always grab the um, true damage mod to one shot basically everything, but just remember that mod goes both ways. And you could be wearing the most tactical of plate carrier mods with 5 out of 5 ballistic weave on you, and they'll still kill you as fast as um, you can kill them, even with like... Um, Plate mods where you can put a plate into that tactical vest of yours. Excuse me, mouse. I'd like to play now. Can you stop throwing grenades? You know what? Fuck you. Cut that. Make it keep falling over this ledge and having to step back in the fire. Is the gun too long? Am I... Really? Are we just that clumsy today, are we? No. I didn't download a... I've got no idea why that's happening, to be honest. But that was really weird. Anyways, um, I suppose we'll use our explosive suppressed version here. Um, you can damage yourself using this thing, so just be aware that, um, you can injure yourself pretty badly. If you injure yourself too much, you might get into Nerd Rage, which has some tactical advantage, but it's generally healthier. No more grenades. Take that. There's a bash animation. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't bash... With the gun in Call of Duty, so that may have been from uh, combined arms there. Anyways, uh, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna God. breach this door and shoot the ground. Almost killed them all. We'll just beat them to death instead of reloading. Alright, perfect. Well, this thing's overpowered. I don't have to explain to you. You saw how effective this thing was. How would you make it unoverpowered? Um... Well, increase the VAT's AP cost would be a good starting point. Make it like one or two hits before it um, completely drains your AP. I think that would be better. Although, I should mention I've got a high agility character, so that definitely makes it look slightly better than what your average character with lower agility might do. So there's that. Um, also, I mean, it, you can fire these things as fast as that in real life, but the recoil would just destroy your shoulder. So... Maybe you could have some sort of recoil penalty or give it more recoil, give it a bit bit more punch. Even if not changing the animations explicitly, but changing the way the camera bounces when you fire this thing. Because, you know, it's a big 50 cal weapon. I'm not going to complain if it kicks like a mule, but who knows? Maybe this thing is just meant to be overpowered because, well, it's a 50 cal, it's semi-auto. It's not a hunting rifle from a vanilla game, so <laughs> it's fine, whatever. Oh look, there's the mighty swan over there. Now you can go prone with this thing, but I think I mentioned this before, the animations aren't set up to use this thing properly. So if you look at the gun, if you tilt the camera around, um, the barrel's just receded inside the thing, and I believe it's going to give me a bolt action animation. 
yeah, um, so it doesn't really work like that. I mean, you could squint your eyes and just uh, avert your gaze every time a reload happens, but nah. Anyways, uh, there's the swan over there. I'm not sure if I can get sniper knockdowns with this thing. Is it just me or is it bigger than normal? Don't really know. But what I do want to do is, well... Oh, he's aggroed to something. Well, that's fine. So this time there's any test weapon we can get. Any sniper knockdowns. And I would, maybe, since it's not an actual um, transition TV scope, maybe this thing isn't capable of knocking things down, which is... Well, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, of course, but can you stop fighting everything? God damn it. Stop aggroing yourself. Now he'll come this way. I'm stuck on something. A rock, perhaps. No, some tires, in fact. I am pretty tired, to be honest, so that makes sense. Anyways, so that's got shockingly good DPS. Granted, he's a giant target, and my chances of missing are only as bad as um, what my skill would allow me, but still. We crushed him there, but we can do better. We can do much better than that. So we'll move on to the next thing. Also, we're playing as Phoebe again. Does anyone have any objections to that? For some reason, whenever someone comments about um, the appearance of the thoughts that I play as, it's always a Phoebe video. For some reason, this chick pisses off cunts. I got told I was an incel last time because I play as that. Am I an incel? Do I hate women? Are you calling me a fucking murderer? Alright, so for the next trick, I'm going to be exploiting Gunfu to its maximum potential. See those creatures down there? They're fighting the Wendigo in vain, of course. This happens every single time, by the way. And if we've got all of them, usually there's a couple of bloat flies around, but I'm not seeing them. Anyways, so he's over there, and he's going to receive many more damage than normal. Heaps more. 8,000, 9,000, 9,000 again, and there's your bloat flies. Never even saw it coming. So that was crits uh, enhanced by an extra... I don't know, actually. What is Gunfu? I forget. I think it's down here in Agility, Gunfu. That's Quick Hands. That's the perk that everyone hates. Oh, this is level 10 Agility. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. Alright, so this one is 50% more damage to my third target and beyond. That's the VAF's description. Can I... Well, that's not cool, but I didn't know that as a compatibility with VAF, so that's nice. But uh, extra 25% more damage, so maybe it is in VATS, but that was crazy. I was used to like the 20-30% to 30 additive that you get in Fallout 76, but yeah, that's pretty strong. Okay, for my last trick, I'm going to be attempting to utilize this thing for a little bit of crowd control. We're gonna get very, very close to this bear and all of his friends, and oh, he's looking right at me. He knows I'm there, but his um, Bethesda AI won't actually allow it. Alright, number three, that's four. And then crit, 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 crit for the rest of the year. All right, let's go. Oh, look at that explosion damage. And now the crits will rain. And I think we're detected at this stage. Yeah, we are, but I think I think it'll be fine. You know what? I don't, we don't even need to worry about this. Oh, sorry, this weapon's very loud. You probably can't hear me talking over it. But for those of you who want to listen to this thing go off, Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? You know, the craziest thing is that I, I thought I would have thought the um, the 25mm grenade version would be stronger. I mean, it would have a stronger sound. It, it doesn't. It's actually quite the same, actually. And now you're running away. I'm getting 2,000 damage for a non-C critical. Alright, so... I've said it before, I'll say it again, this thing's overpowered. If you want to completely break your game with this wicked cool um, Call of Duty ported Barrett sniper, then go ahead and download this. If you want more of, of a balanced approach, you could argue that um, the combined arms version of the 50 cal is um, 
more balance, but that mod requires a... M well, it gives NPCs a bunch of annoyingly loud reload noises, so that kind of turns me off. But this one's more lightweight by comparison. And you can have an even lighter weight if you decide to use this thing um, without all of the cameras, which they're optional. They're a little bit of flavor. You can have those, but um, you're not missing out on too much if you decide to pass them by. There's some super over there. But you didn't expect any long-range, possibly out of render distance sniping now, did ya? Well, there it is. So yeah, definitely recommend this thing if you want to mess around for a little bit. But for a weapon of this power, um, you might find that it'll detract from the game experience if you're over-reliant on it. Because there's basically zero drawbacks to this thing. Um, it's a sniper. That It's not slow, though. It's not a very slow sniper. It's got all the power in the world. It's not even that heavy, either. Like, honestly, look at this thing. 22 pounds? That's that's nothing. Like, that's like a combat rifle weight. Less than a combat rifle's weight. So, it's pretty much a flawless weapon for what it's designed for. So, just be wary of that. But, a very well-made mod. And everything is done really well nonetheless so if you're interested in seeing this thing check out the link in the description be down there thanks for watching do you like her glasses